Hello, my name is Matt Brown. I'm a solutions architect here at Endor Labs. And in this video, we're going to go over our SBOM hub, um, specifically how to actually ingest and organize the SBOMs that you receive or maybe make yourself, right? So pretty simple, really. I'm just in the Endor UI. I go to SBOM hub. As you can see here, there's import SBOM. A couple of different ways you can do this in a couple of different formats. So Sports Cyclone DX, SPDX. And if you want to do this manually, it's very simple. You just browse, upload the file like you would any other tool, something like a Dropbox or something. But you just browse for the actual SBOM, upload it in here, and it gets stored in here. Very, very simple. And again, Cyclone DX or SPDX, and the versions are listed there. We also have a more advanced option. This is for things like putting it in the CI, where you go ahead, you in your main line, you know, the, the application that you're going to deploy out into production. This you would put in the CI to create an SBOM anytime that you go ahead and send out a new app, right? The benefit of this is that it's all automatically done and it gets all automatically updated within the Endor SBOM here, SBOM hub here, so that it's constantly updated and maintained really well. The reason why we have this SBOM hub is, you know, today there's not really a really good solution to actually, you know, maintain and manage the SBOMs that you receive. You know, people can throw it in Google Drive or SharePoint or an intranet. That has a problem like with any other documentation management system where you get a ton of different copies, none of them are updated. And that's probably the most important thing is that let's say a new CVE is disclosed or a new issue pops up, it doesn't get updated. Well, here, let's say, you know, this SBOM for this popular Python component called MetaGPT, a new vulnerability is disclosed. Well, we can actually go ahead and let you know about that without you having to really do anything. It just automatically gets updated. So, for example, this one, this GitHub Advanced Security, this GitHub Security Advisory came out the other day, January 21st, and it's in here already, right? I get a view of all my different findings. I can group them by a specific finding or maybe a specific dependency within the SBOM itself. And then of course, I can investigate all the different dependencies within this SBOM after I've gone ahead and actually ingested it. So everything that I need to know about a given dependency is all right in here in the SBOM hub. And again, what's nice about this is that it's all automated. It's all updated for you in case something new comes out and everything you need to know about all the different components within this SBOM is all right in here. It's not just vulnerabilities and license issues. Of course, we'll have that, but it's also everything you need to know about a given dependency within this SBOM. So a lot of really good data here to help you really manage and maintain the SBOMs that you receive and that you can go ahead and upload into the SBOM hub. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Take care now.